Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life. So we're indoors today. It's a Saturday after Thanksgiving. It's Iron Bowl Day if you're in Alabama. Really, it's Iron Bowl Day no matter where you are on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. You may not realize it. But anyway, Iron Bowl Day means Alabama plays Auburn. It's a 2 30 kick. We're out in the garage. This was my father in law's garage back in the day. He built this thing probably 40 years ago. And as you can see, the lights are kind of struggling. I'll show you that. We got one light working here, one light working over there, and maybe like one bulb working over there. So I've bought these lights online. I don't know if you can see them there or not. These are, um, Beria is the brand. They're LEDs. They are like $80 for a box of 12. I put them in downstairs to replace these lights and they work great. Also today we're gonna put in the on. We're gonna hang on, get it hang on. This TV, you can see right back over here, we've got the smart TV, but it's sitting on a little table. We're gonna hang that today. And uh, who knows what else we'll get into. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Click like, subscribe, share with a friend. So straight out of the box, you open this up and you've got instructions. We're men, we don't need instructions. So take all your instructions and just throw them over there on the floor. I mean, they're lettered, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. We don't need instructions, we'll figure it out, maybe. All right, so here's where we are. I went up in the attic and I wired in this wire where the previous wire was wired in. That way when you flip each switch, it's getting the wire from the same place. We've taken down, Lawson and I have taken down the light bulbs first, then we've taken down these fixtures, and I'll pass the camera off to him and show you how easy it is to take down these old fixtures. This little center panel right here has got to come out. So I'm going to come to the end here. I'll just take my screwdriver, pop it out. That's it. That comes off. There's a screw right here. Piece of tape got to hang up there. All right. You just screw here. Back that screw out. There's one on the other end. Back that screw out. Now there's nothing but paint holding it up. Pop it loose. And you've got a wire holding it loose. Now the power has been removed from the far side. So I can do this without fear of any electrical shock. Just kidding. I can take this, cut it, throw on the floor. I'm acting like a real electrician. That's what they do. <laughs> Push it in the ceiling, voila, it's gone. All right, three more times and we're good to go. Okay, we've got them all down. Step next is paint. I had some trim paint. White paint's white paint, right? So I'm painting over where the previous lights, they painted around. So I'm painting those strips to cover that up. I think I may delegate this duty to Kaylee. She's a better painter than me. You can see we've got one section up. Got several of the holes painted over. Kaylee skips, I guess she does one every other I area to paint. I couldn't get to that one, it's over the ping pong table. Oh, sorry, she couldn't get to it, it's over the ping pong table. All right, uh, we're gonna keep going. Do you mind notice anything when I held up the other mount? Let me see if I can rewind and show you that other box. It was a hang on, but in my haste, I grabbed the wrong kind of tabletop. Now maybe fixed TV wall mount will do the trick. All right, let's try this again. No instructions needed. All right, here's your instructions. Step one, find a stud. In this case, it's on this side of the camera. <laughs> Good one, right? All right, so found a stud here. There should have been one here, but evidently it was on two foot centers. So this one's not on a stud or this one, but it's in this plywood, so it's fine. They make these mounts now with a built-in level. So level it up, screw it to it. Find the screws that go in the holes that are already there. They give you several choices of screws to fit that. Then all you gotta do is plug up everything and this hooks on the hooks there and we'll be good to go.
and simple as that. We'll do a little better job of hiding our wires. This wire on the left, I've wired it up through the ceiling is to an antenna that we can get free TV over the air. And that's obviously the plug there. If I can find the remote, I would test it and see if it works. It's around here somewhere. I'm sure the kids, I'm sure have it in a great location. All right, TV hung. I might get crazy and go up in the attic and run a plug, or I could pull a plug, I could pull a wire from here up to there and put a plug behind it. I may get crazy. All right, all right, coming up the stairs from the garage, check this out. I wired one of the lights in here, so when you turn the lights on downstairs, it illuminates the stairs for you, and you can see how to get upstairs. And it's dark, I came back at night, so you can see it at night. And you got one switch does that half, the other switch does the rest. And we have a well lit hangout room for the kids now. I didn't get crazy and run that plug yet, but I figured out how I'm gonna do it. And I'll show you that. But I did want you to see, I did find the remote and you can watch the over the air TV shows free of a monthly bill. So there you go. Look at the picture, how good that picture is. It's amazing, right? There you go. TV works and the kids are happy. So this was part of their Christmas. They wanted to see uh, some improvements to their hangout room. I think next up we'll paint these old doors, maybe trim out that um, pull down a little bit, get them a mini fridge over there at the bar. And these kids will be in style. All right, thanks for watching King's Outdoor Life. Click like, subscribe, and have a blessed day.